to plead the fifth. Mark is stepping to the stand, and he is ready to answer his questions. It's one pass, so if something gets too heated, he won't have to answer. But uh, other than that, <laughs> why are you looking? My at me? goal is to make it through the entire thing without pleading the fifth. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I was mm-hmm. saying. That's what your goal is. Uh, let's see here. You get three from the room. You get three uh, from the listeners. Eight 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 four two nine zero ninety four one. If you've ever wanted to ask Mark a question, yeah, you can do that. All right, I'm first. Mm-hmm. Mark, we we hear about your conquests all the time and <laughs> stuff like that, but we don't get to know the real, the Mark, the romantic Mark. Oh. There's not and, much to that, Mark. Well, I mean, well, maybe that's the answer, but Mark, um, we want to know about the romance side of you. So when was the last time that you either made a woman breakfast in the morning oh. Oh, that's not too or hard. sent flowers to a woman that you were sexually okay. involved with, not a family member like I'm Mark? Breakfast I made in South Carolina. I had somebody with me, so that was like a month ago. You made breakfast? Yeah. What'd you make? And dinner. I mean, you know, typical breakfast. You're such a cook. What'd you make? Yeah. That? I What'd mean, what did we, I, fr- breakfast was like, like eggs, bacon, I think toast, you know, just something. We woke up and I was like, yo, I'm making breakfast, so here you go. And dinner, I made dinner the night before too. So there was that. Um, yeah. Okay. That's not all that bad. I mean, you know. I, I, listen. You don't make breakfast for everybody. Let's yeah, no, for real, you're right about that. Because, yeah, I, I mean, if breakfast. I'm thinking about him, I'm like, I don't think he's made breakfast for anybody. No, yeah. no, 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 I did. Yeah, it was back um, in May. Uh-huh. All, okay. right. all right. Cool. And flowers? Ooh, flowers. Ooh. So, yeah, no, the last time I sent flowers, I want to say it was probably my ex. Because I haven't sent anyone flowers since. Yeah. Mm. Hmm? Okay. Interesting. Right. I should have. A couple weeks ago, I should have sent some flowers over a situation that took place. What do you, mean, what, what do you mean place. you should have? It would have been like the nice thing to do, um, but I didn't. So Why didn't regret you? That. It's funny you say flowers because that's <laughs> been bugging me for a couple weeks now. Okay. Oh, you regret it. Yeah, I missed an opportunity. All right, you're next. All right, Mark, hmm. I want you to tell us about the last time when somebody that you considered a friend did you dirty. Ooh, did me dirty? Yes, sir. Um, ah, I'm being really, really honest here. I can't recall a friend, re- like a good friend, really doing me dirty. I've been pretty fortunate to have good guys around me, good guys, girls, whatever. And I don't think I've ever been really screwed around like that at all, man. I don't know why you guys are looking at me like this. Like, you don't <laughs> no, I, I, I honestly can't recall. I don't think I've ever been. That's, I mean, you lucky then. Yeah. Now, because. I can't say that I haven't, you know, messed up and done some stupid <laughs> He's things. the guy. Oh, yeah, I, the guy. I'm the guy. Right, you're you the dude. dude. Well, that wasn't your question. <laughs> <laughs> you're but, the guy. Yeah. All right, Meredith, you're next. Uh, all right, out of this room. All the guys in this room. Oh, Mark. man. This is a Meredith Which question. Which one do you want to take on a date? <laughs> it's, it's well, we say. can go ahead and do that uh, one if you want. No, um, out of all the men in this room, I want you to tell me why and explain in order who is the best looking <laughs> to the worst looking and why. Everybody in the room? Everybody in the room. You know only what? The, only the guys? Because I'm not playing this game. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Nice. <laughs> what? Ladies, call in. <laughs> what? Is there any question? I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> I don't even want to take our listeners down that journey. Like, <laughs> I mean, because we're like best looking. Yeah. Out of me and Davi. Well, at first, no, I figured he was going to say he was the best looking. I wouldn't even have said that at all. I would. What do you mean? I would have gone with those three. Oh, oh. Yeah, I would have put myself last. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm? Well, you did. I, I want. Was I going to be first? <laughs> <laughs> I pled the fifth. I got man. my snazzy pants. I can't on. give you the satisfaction of knowing. I, I got my snazzy you pants snazzy on today. Pants my, on my butt looks good in these pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you was going to judge any day, that would wow. probably have been the day. Hey, that's right. what, that's I mean, what they do. Your color scheme is dope, too. Hey, yeah. Oh, man. Well, they ain't no looking fresh today. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You got yellow pants on today. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Looking I mean, it's fresh. the day. This is my day. Right, right. You cut me off from my day. I'm I sorry, think I would have been the hot one today. I can't believe that's what made you plead the fifth. 
I just don't like answering those questions. He don't like talking about my sex. Mm. Or his booty. <laughs> it's working in here. All right, so now we got uh, listeners, 888-429-0941. I got one. Uh, let's see, the texts are popping. Yes, this is from Christy out of the 813. Mark, I got a real good question for you. Have you ever had a girl come to you because she thought she might be pregnant with your baby? Or in the middle of the act, did you think, uh-oh, I just messed that up? And think you might have gotten somebody pregnant. Yeah, I mean, there's probably been a million times where I thought I've gotten somebody pregnant. <laughs> Are you a million? Okay, I Tracy. Mean, not, maybe not a million, but I multiple times, yes. But so far, that <laughs> has that. not yeah, happened. Why a million, though? Because like people out there who are getting to know you during this thing oh. want to know. Why a million? I mean, you know, if I've been with somebody, we're probably not using protection. If I'm with them for oh, an extended man. amount of time. If they're on birth control or the pill or whatever, yeah. Why Why am I going to use condom? We're good. Feels better. <laughs> like anybody can deny what I'm saying right now. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Buck. Buck's with me. See? Buck, yeah, had, Buck has kids, too. So. <laughs> Buck's married, though. Right, like, right. like, Buck Buck bought it. He's married. Mm-hmm. He's, he can do mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, we talk. All these questions centered around you with random. Yeah. It feels better. <laughs> He's laughing so much. Not after that thing fall off. Oh, I'm Lord. just going to say it. Mm. Damn. Mm-hmm. All right. Wow. All right. Well, we got we got another one. Let's see. We got a call here from Clarissa. Clarissa, your question for Mark is what? So I want to know if there's any part of Mark that a girlfriend gets that a random girl from the bar doesn't get. Come on. Huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, if. I were to be dating somebody, you're going to get to know me a lot better. You're going to know more about me. What do I get, Mark, if we, if we date? I would say you're just going to get, like... You're going to get herpes. That's what he just told you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all caught a hold of that. So, but you're um, going to get something. Okay, that, yeah, that that's probably a good possibility, <laughs> You're going to get that flight. <laughs> that's what you're going to get. You're going to get that burn. <laughs> so... <laughs> No, yeah, you're gonna get. You're gonna probably just get like the real me. Like you're gonna get what I like to do, what I think, what I truly think and feel about maybe certain people, certain actions, what so, I think about life. So they only get your mentality. You're so gonna get a lot of that. The girlfriend you get and the random, they pretty much get the same. Like you got the same dance moves that you give them. You got like they ain't no. I mean, you know, I know the girl you, you just met, right? And the girl you, yeah, dating. I think it's the same in that regard. Really, for sure. Like mm-hmm. a girl you took over in the bar, mm-hmm. you doing the biblical things with her yeah. that you would give your girl that you love and make a breakfast for. I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets treated equally you in that are respect. Nasty you as are hell. nasty. Hey. Dip him in Perel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he is nasty. All right. Wow. <laughs> Everything. From the, rooter, from the rooter to the tutor. I mean, yeah. gone look, over. I mean, you know, nah. there might be a <laughs> thing or two that wouldn't get done, but <laughs> damn, you know. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, I have two. Mm. Well, to there's pick only from. one left, right? I have two yeah. to pick from. One's about the bedroom. Oh, man. Do we really want to stay? Just pick something else because I don't want him to answer. Okay. All right. Now, and his other answers are just in my head. This I, other I one, uh, uh, this person texted in. Uh, because of the previous question that was asked, I guess. Anyway, it was about how did you get somebody back because they did you wrong, or what did you do to somebody in a in a relationship and a friendship? And I think that that's from the oh, previous. Oh, from you saying that you did some somebody dirty, right? Did you ever do one of your friends dirty? Um, yeah. So I think the dirtiest thing I ever did was it was back in Chicago, and one of my boys was kind of seeing this girl. They weren't together together. Oh, how did we know? Yeah. yeah. I was sitting there like, I just know you it's got to be a gotta deal with a girl. Well, so the girl called me one night. This is a great story. And she called me around midnight. It was a Friday night. And I was happened to be home and sober because I had work the next day. She calls me and she's like, hey, um... Bill and I, it's my boy Bill. We're out, and Bill and I. Bill got, and we met. You met Bill, oh, yeah. and Bill. you can tell. So we're friends now. We've we've. Oh, he is a he is a saint. We've hashed it out. Because I mean, damn. So the girl I think calls. He bought me, me drinks. Yeah, we. He's like, yeah, we or we. She called me. We got into a fight. Blah blah blah. Bill ran off, and I can't find him anywhere. And he took the truck with him. So he had like an Escalade, right? So he left this girl at the bar. 
she needed help. The funny thing is, me and this girl didn't like each other when we had met the first time. I thought she was kind of like a lot of attitude, you know, and I just didn't want to deal with her. But she called me because I was the closest person to Bill. So I drove out to this bar 30 minutes away because I'm like, okay, my boy's missing. He's drunk. I don't know where he's at. I pick up the girl. We search for him for about two hours in the middle of the night. <laughs> Driving around? It's now 2.30 in the morning, yeah. And I, she has to get home. So we're in my car. Obviously, I'm going to bring her home. At this point, I'm not thinking anything dirty. I swear on my life. Pull into her driveway, and she's like, well, you know, since Bill's gone, and I got to say, like, I really think you're hot and you're attractive. And she just started doing things, what? like, right in the car. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> like, I can't really stop you. I tried. <laughs> I, you know, All what, that lead up to I can't yeah. really stop yeah. you. I mean, you can say no. You could say no. But, you know, in the moment, I really couldn't say no. And I did try what if to, What your like, dude was in a ditch somewhere oh. in an accident, and you out there just high, high and heavy with his girl? At, <laughs> le- at least you looked. <laughs> <laughs> I spent two hours looking, right? And there was, I did try to shove her away, if it, you will. Okay, so yeah. by that. It was. Yeah, we were in the car, and yeah, we ended up. Um, <laughs> that was that. And then pushing up for you. stop, <laughs> stop. And then um, I had a call off work that day because Bill wasn't there. Bill was my partner, and we sprayed lawns together. And he needed him to do the jobs. So then we had a call off work, and Bill ended up being found like the next day. He walked like ten miles away, didn't Jeez. know where he was at. It was a huge mess. Yo, did you end up going inside, or was it only in the car? Car only. Really? Yeah. Did not go inside the does, house. Does he get credit for that? No. But I, I, just I, I, to I, I, know was just, I was just visuals. wondering if he get credit. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, so it was just to hook up in the car. Yeah. And then, well, we would text here and there, and this is how I got caught, because Bill, Bill is a very smart guy, very sneaky guy. Bill was going through her phone or had some way to get information off of her phone, saw that her and I were texting. <gasps> Bill called me that day. Yo, it was on. Bill's like, hey, we need to meet up right now, blah, 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 blah. So him and I met up. We ended up not speaking for probably six months to a year. Wow. And then we had to see each other at a friend's birthday party, and that's when him and I, <clears throat> we settled the dust. He wanted to fight you? When, when um, you saw him, I got to meet you right here, right now. That sounds like fighting words. Yeah. He, <laughs> yes, yes. yeah, no, no. He was more of like, he's kind of an adult, you know, uh, that's just not, he knew that that wasn't going to fix it, fix it. So, but I think him cutting me off as a friend was more, you know, was worse than her. him fighting me. Yeah. yeah. And I'm glad we're friends now. You guys have met him. He's been down here. We've laughed about the situation before. But See, guys can get over situations yeah. Wait, like can that. I, can I just ask you, so does that slow you up to... Like, would you, if it happened this week, mm-hmm. would you uh, approach it differently? Like, would you let the girl proceed? Or no, would you stop? not at Did all. Would we'll teach you a lesson? It would depend on the level of friendship with the guy. Like, Davi, hell no. I would never do that to somebody as close as we are. Like, you, no. Buck, no. Was it only that one time with that girl? Because you guys were texting and stuff like that. Oh I want to say, bro, I want to uh, say we met up a couple times after. Oh, man. <laughs> we can't even give you the benefit of the doubt. Look, I, already, oh, I was going to lose my friend oh, anyway. Oh, my Why not get some more? Oh, you are oh, so stupid. Go back for seconds, baby. You are <laughs> Wow. All right. Please leave the fence over. <laughs> you can't say no more. I think you need to skip the next two weeks. Seriously. <laughs> Orlando and the Freak Show. Wow! <laughs> it's more freak show coming up, but I don't think we got no more. That's it. <laughs>